Hello. How's everybody doing today? Thank you very much for joining me on this very cold minus 25 wind chilled day here in Winnipeg, Manitoba on this lovely and freezing Tuesday, November the 12th, around 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we're going to start off today with a market scan. But before I do that, I want to let you guys know very firmly that I will not be using Udemy whatsoever in the future anymore. This will be the very last year that I do it, and then I will be hosting all of them myself. If you have access to it already, you will always have access to it indefinitely and permanently. The reason why I won't be using it anymore is because they only allow you to make two coupons a month, as you can see here, okay? You, can, you created all your coupons this month already. So I don't like the way that they force you to give these flash sales and you're unable to accommodate other people. If I wanted to give someone a free course, I couldn't even do that anymore because you can only go for two coupons a month, right? Like just in case, I, if I wanted to give a discount, for example, to somebody, right? I couldn't even do that either. You can only create two a month and that's it. So because of that, guys, I've only got two coupons left for the month. That is it. And I mean it. That, that's actually till December. And I'm talking about the deal for all three courses for $180, okay? And I can only do that by crypto because all these coupons, they, they suck apparently and I can't make any more. They changed it just in the middle of October and I'm not happy. And I've got, um, yeah, just two or th actually three more coupons total for $180 for all three courses or $100 for course one and three or courses two and three. So let me know guys, I've only got three left and um, a lot of people are interested in it. So you guys have to DM me if you're interested in this first, okay? On Twitter or leave a tweet below or something like that. And I'll be sure to accommodate you guys right away. Sorry for the long spiel. I'm gonna, I'm done with that, okay? I'm not gonna go much further than I need to. And um, yeah. Okay, let's get into this market scan right now. We're gonna do a morning scan first of all, just to see where generally speaking, every single coin is trending. So the way that we're going to do this usually is in the mornings, and then we're gonna walk down the line on very high time frames and just talk generally about what is been going on, what has been going on. So first of all, we'll start off with Bitcoin and the weekly, okay? Bitcoin and the weekly, we got this huge, we're gonna go about four weeks back and talk about very relevant things. So first of all, if we are interested in looking at BTC, we see that we find support here for 28 days in a row or one, two, three, four, five candles actually, so 35 days in a row. And then right now we're trending near the 0.5 Fibonacci level, which is very indicative that, hey, we might find some support soon in these particular regions because it is, if you go to a lower time frame, such as a, such as a 12 hour, you'll see we're trending roughly right at the 0.5 and the 618 golden ratio range. And in my opinion, if it counts for anything, <laughs> is that we will find some sort of relevant support above the golden pocket, which is at 84.40. So this is the point where people are extremely interested in it because for all we know, this could be making a bullish flag, right? That's the flag, you know, like somewhere like that. And we got a flagpole coming down there. So that is a bullish flag that we see that could easily break to the upside. What could easily um, challenge this and prove it by this proof? Well, if we actually end up breaking all the way down to the 8K regions, which is the lower end of here, I will automatically assume that all bullish counts for now are off the table. Okay, so this region is dangerous in my opinion, and it's not a region I really want to get to, okay, for Bitcoin. And we take a look at the 12 hour charts and all, and we see that it's making an attempt to have higher lows for the histogram to peak to the upside, but we see that it's not really doing too much right now. We take a look at, for example, the six hour chart and we got ourselves an incredibly beautiful doji, okay? So this is very indicative in my opinion that we're about to find support very soon. Okay, not only that, what we're seeing is we're seeing higher lows consistently throughout right here. Do we have any relevant type of resistance? Sort of, right here, I'd say so, okay? So I think we're gonna make a challenge right here for the RSI and the six hour chart where we could easily see a breakout to the upside. Higher lows, resistance is being met, Dragonfly Doji, and this is the one that's giving it away right here. This is my formula for success, always. Where you're getting yourself 
this type of structure that's first of all red okay it comes down and it goes up like that okay just as an example right or it could be lower side as well it could be something like that and it goes something like that right where this is a lower low and then you get the short or the slow moving average that comes down right and it crosses over at one time and it comes back down this way and then you get another crossover right there and that is the point the second crossover that we're going to be very interested in and right now as you can see on the six hour chart it's doing exactly that so the point of this is that if bitcoin actually ends up rallying very hard then every other coin will also rally hard as well us is on my mind but it's much more bearish than it is bullish in my opinion because it's not exactly correlating directly to the way bitcoin's movement is so the way that i'm like i'm not seeing the same type of structures on these particular coins all the time right or on these alts bitcoin is definitely getting a slightly different movement just as an example here's the 23rd right we get a huge wave up right and then we retract down or we retrace down and then we get another huge wave up i don't see bitcoin's fifth wave up anywhere like that therefore i'm led to believe that eos is slightly ahead of the pack right now and is making some sort of leading first wave diagonal or flat that's going to break to the downside i do not think it's going to correlate that well to bitcoin and eos is one of those ones where I, I don't have a lot of faith in right now but it's definitely my top one of my top contenders to see how it could perform just to give you a, an idea, for example, of the correlation right now between alts and Bitcoin, okay? Just as an example, you take a look right here at Bitcoin and you see it on the negative side of the histogram with the MACD. But every other coin, you see it on almost the positive, right? You see on this one here is on the positive. Actually, sorry, um, EOS is on the positive, right? It's definitely on the positive side. Um, here, um, for example, if you look at Litecoin, you see on the positive side, but you see the history on the negative side, so it's different. You take a look at here for Ethereum, same thing as Litecoin, where the MACD is on the positive side, but the histogram is on the negative side, right? Take a look at EOS, the exact same thing. You take a look at XRP. This guy right here is more so correlating to Bitcoin than other alts right now, because you take a look at the six hour chart and you see that the histogram is on the negative side and also the MACD as well, okay? And then BAB, which is also Bitcoin, known as Bitcoin Cash, it's very much so neutral right now, okay? So we take a look at all these coins and we say to ourselves, which one has the most potential? Go back here and we're going to say Neo. Neo's got the most potential. BAB, I don't even see it on here anymore. Where is BAB? Um, I do not even see it. BCH, 1.5 million, not worth my time or interested in it. I'm going to replace my bottom right chart here with NEO because NEO's got way more volume than a lot of these other coins. And now I'm very much so interested in NEO, okay? NEO is one of my top picks right now for trading for the day because it is absolutely defying everything that Bitcoin is doing right now, okay? It's not correlating to it whatsoever. If you look on Bitcoin's pause um, if you look at bitcoin's rally which started to find support on december the 23rd and then it started rallying very hard on the 25th okay on the 25th here it did the exact same thing spiked up about 103 percent that's ridiculous right and now the reason why i say it's not correlating is because you clearly see that neo is making a double top right see it's making kind of a double top for now which is a good sign but then you see that Bitcoin is actually still on the downtrend. So you can easily confirm and say to yourself that NEO is not positively correlating in any way to Bitcoin for now. Okay. So we got to ask ourselves why, what's going on right now with NEO. And I don't care about the fundamental aspect of it. And even if people tried to tell me, I wouldn't care about researching it because I know that something fundamentally is happening right now. And if not, all the everything is reflected in the price action. I'm a 100% tactical analyst, right? And I just read news for fun. And I think that right now, this coin is pretty hot. I missed my shorting opportunity already, I think. But then again, I'm not entirely sure if there even is an opportunity to short this. This coin spiked up 14%, guys. 14% in the past, not even 10 hours. So you gotta be very mindful of this right here, okay? But for all we know as well, right? This could be horrible. 
okay? This could be brutal because you never know. We could be getting, right? Something like that. A descending type of, um, or sorry, a flat to the downside. You just never ever know. So right now what I am doing is waiting for a confirmation of more bearish divergence to actually short it. That's my plan. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that I'm going to short it. But what I'm looking for specifically actually is a 30 minute chart. The 30 minute chart, what I would like to happen on NEO is the same type of formula that I was talking to you about. Where this one here will most likely just come through and then we get another crossover. Who knows when that can happen. Make this one that color and then I'll now draw a red one as well, okay? And the red one, what I'm imagining is just kind of like that. Okay. So, yeah. So I see one crossover coming to the negative side and then one more wave up. And then I would love to short this particular region. But for now, it's a matter of waiting. I don't got any confirmation quite yet. Okay. I, I really, really don't. And I'm going to break this down like you've got no freaking idea <laughs> very, very soon. Okay. Um, so just waiting, just chilling. And other than that, I'm not too interested in any other coins. Done my morning scan. I go to the four hour chart, for example. All I see is alts. Uh, you know, we're talking about XRP. Um, sorry, yeah, XRP. We're talking about EOS, Ethereum. We're talking about Litecoin. And these coins right here, they're not that interesting because there's they're all in a neutral level, for example, for RSI. This is Ethereum here, 48. I don't care about that. I don't care about that at all. I want something very high RSI or very low RSI right now to work with. I'm not, I've concluded that I am not the best breakout player. I don't like to break out and buy at a neutral level. In fact, when I review my statistics of my trades, I've lost way more trades on breakouts. It's still over 60% to be clear, but I've lost way more trades on breakouts rather than trying to trying to see bearish divergence or bullish divergence when it's very close to a top. I'm more of a momentum trader that can see it rolling rather than a trader who is anticipating a breakout. So figure out what kind of trader you are as well because this, these kind of things can really impact your development as a trader. I knew that my personality in general is very, not confrontational, not aggressive, but very assertive, right? I'm a super assertive person and I hate to say it, but I usually get what I want in life. <laughs> when it comes to people, when it comes to things that I need to talk my way into something or out of something, I have a very high probability of that happening, which implies that I'm assertive, which implies that I'm aggressive in some way, but in a calm manner, which implies that I'm a very good trader when it comes to catching the bottom or top, right? Whereas the people who like to take a lot, like a lot of chances, they're like me, right? But of course, some people don't have that type of personality. So these personalities of yours will be molded to your trading style. Some of you guys will never catch the falling knife like me. I mean, will never want to because it's too risky. It's too aggressive. But for me, it's another day. It's another walk in the park for me. Whereas when it comes to breakouts, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like drawing triangles and waiting for key resistance points. I'll wait for other signs of confluency to enter. So right now as it stands, guys, Neo is on my mind. Absolutely, Neo's on my mind. Nothing else is on my mind at the moment. Maybe, maybe um, Ethereum. Okay, just look on the bottom left here. Maybe Ethereum because what I see is this type of support right here. If we do break to the upside, let's extend this. If we break to the upside, then we'll be looking at roughly, you know, just something up there. Symmetry wise, it's so identical, these guys. Like, you know, like, it's just crazy. When you look at the symmetry from there to there, so how am I not to believe that we're going to hit this particular point right here if we do end up finding support and Bitcoin does rally? So Ethereum's target is a little bit below 200. If it holds true and Bitcoin does rally, okay? That's very important for us to distinguish and discern. And then we take a look here as well, of course. You know, we're taking a, uh, this is Litecoin. It's kind of the exact same boat as Ethereum right now, okay? So, you know, you know, like a lot of these coins are in the exact same boat. So how am I not supposed to believe that that there's a high probability of us just basically 
you know, of a bus hitting somewhere up there. Like we're talking about 60, 65 dollars, we'll say, for Litecoin. Okay, so there's a lot of opportunity right now. We just gotta be very patient and wait for it, in my opinion. But right now, once again, my thoughts are on Neil. I'll give you guys a very detailed technical analysis very soon for Bitcoin, and we'll go from there. Have yourselves a great morning, baby whales. Definitely consider that offer for Udemy. I've only got two slots left for the whole month. That's it, guys. So have yourselves a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye now.